For you have kindness and love that you have bestowed us on your place. We look back in our lives and we see only one thing. We see the power that you use, Lord, to transform us to where we are today. And Lord, when we look in the future, we see nothing else but the power, Lord, for it that you have in our lives to provide a future that you have set for us. Lord, we trust you. We believe in you. We honor and glorify you, Lord. We know that all things are possible to them love that love you and God. We know there is no condemnation to them that are with you, my heavenly Father. We are praying, therefore, Lord, you give us faith to believe in your word, to believe in you, and know that you are the Alpha and Omega, beginning and the end, the author of our salvation, the author of our faith, the finisher of our salvation, and the finisher of our faith. And without you, Lord, we are lost. But you in us is our hope of glory. May you receive therefore glory and honor as we come to the end of this service. And we pray that, Lord, every word that you spoke to us, may it find a place in our heart to open our mind and renew us, my Heavenly Father. And we may follow you because we can now see. We thank you for your revelation, God. We thank you above all for the love that you have shown us, my God. We thank you for the grace and the truth that you have sent to us. Lord, we appreciate you. We welcome you. We invite you in our lives. Lord, we want to be living sacrifices that are always offering a place in our heart for you, Lord. Come and pray with us, Lord. For those who have not yet received you, my Heavenly Father, this is the hour and the time that you touch their spirit, my God, that you touch their hearts, my God, that they may accept you as their personal Savior. Lord, if there are people here, Lord, who have got any complications, my God, if complications of illness or any other complications of time and space and everything else, my Heavenly Father, complications caused by diseases, complications caused by anxiety, all complications that might hinder their lives, we come to you, Lord, asking you that you forgive our sins, and therefore, like you told that man, the sins are forgiven. And then they doubted you, and you said, which is greater for me to say your sins are forgiven, or to tell this man to rise up and tell his father to go. Lord, tell us now, are you pity all our sicknesses, my God? Throw them into the pit of darkness. Ask us to receive your healing. In the name of Jesus, we pray. God bless you. <laughs>
to open our mind and renew us, my Heavenly Father. And we will follow you because we can now seek. We thank you for your revelation, God. We thank you above all for the love that you have shown us, my God. We thank you for the grace and the truth that you have sent to us. Lord, we appreciate you. We welcome you. We invite you in our lives. Lord, we want to be living sacrifices that are already offering a place in our heart for you, Lord. Come and pray with us, Lord. For those who have not yet received you, my Heavenly Father, this is the hour and the time that you touch their spirit, my God, that you touch their hearts, my God, that they may accept you as their personal Savior. Lord, if there are people here, Lord, who have got any complications, my God, the complications of illness, or any other complications of time and space and everything else, my Heavenly Father, complications caused by diseases, complications caused by anxiety, all complications that might hinder their lives, we come to you, Lord, asking you that you forgive our sins, and therefore, like you told that man, the sins are forgiven. And then they doubted you. And you said, which is greater for me to say your sins are forgiven. Or to tell this man to rise up and take his part and go. Lord, tell us now. Are you pity of our sicknesses, my God? Throw them into the pit of darkness. Ask us to receive your healing. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.